Hi, how's it going? I'm Houston. I hope you're doing well. It's nice to see you. Hope you're staying healthy. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, you know what time it is. Finally, we have Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Been waiting what feels like forever for this game to come out. And uh, this is not my first time playing it. Uh, obviously, it's been out like almost a week now, pretty much a week by the time this uploads. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun, especially coming from me. I've never played an Armored Core game before. I've never been like a mech game guy. I think I maybe played Mech Assault once or twice when I was younger, but other than that, nothing. So I'm unfamiliar mostly with this whole formula, like the Armored Core formula, but it seems like, and from everything that I've read, it seems like this game is from Soft taking all the things that they always loved and really enjoyed about the Armored Core series, and then taking also what they learned from the newer games, like especially the success of Elden Ring, and they've sort of like blended them together. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how like accurate that is. Like, who knows? Maybe the people that love the Armored Core series hate this game. I don't know. And honestly, I don't care because I like it. So basically, the game is mission based and you're like this mercenary, this augmented human, and you pilot an AC, an armored core. And obviously you can, you know, customize your armored core and all that, I'll show you that after this mission. But the cool thing about the game is that you don't really have to commit a lot of time to it right off the bat. You can, if you want, like you could totally just binge the hell out of it. I have friends that have already beat it like two or three times. You accept these missions as a mercenary and the story kind of starts to make sense or like it has a general direction kind of after chapter one, but everything up to that is you just being basically a dog for hire. So people are like, hey, go out there and do this thing for me. And you're like, well, I don't really have a choice because I don't know, like I have no sentience or something. <laughs> so yeah, you just do that. And then you can obviously look at fit check, fit check, fit check. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm an idiot. All right, do a fit check in game. So basically you drop in and whoa, oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, you whoa. Oh, I have to defend these things. All right. Yeah. So you Does drop in much? and you have your loadout. Hit check, by the way. Look at how beautiful anyway, this game is. No fucking nice. And you either go and retrieve something or safe. you like just defend something like in this or literally you just like hunt another AC, like a rogue one or one from a rival company. And yeah, the cool thing though, is that the movement is in three dimensions or like 360 degrees so you have a uh, you have all these insane ways that you can move that are all like based on your build and uh like especially your legs god i'm doing a horrible way of ex or job of explaining this but you get what i mean i mean just watch Dude, like, this is insane. Really? I don't think I've ever played a game that handles scale better than this game. I mean, like, look at these. These are, like, shipping containers. Right? Kind of sucks. I, I... Did two of them get destroyed? Yeah, I suck at this game. Blow it up. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Looks like I was a little off. Well, Hell yeah. They're, like, Metal Gear Solid E. Like you get the comms, you get the messages and that's like, there are no faces. I haven't seen one human face. So it's interesting, like thinking about the implications on like the production side of that for me, at least because there's no emotion to be conveyed through the face with characters. So you really have to have good voice actors in order to portray the emotions and the way that a lot of characters are feeling. And you have to have just good dialogue in general. So you have like the parts shop, a different weapon for each arm, different weapon for each shoulder. And you can do a bunch of different legs. Like you can have tank tread legs, quadruped legs. Like look at these goofy ass things right here. The double jointed ones allow you to jump really high. Different boosters, generators, CPUs, all sorts of stuff from shotguns to pistols to miniguns to SMGs to burst weapons, which are the worst fucking thing on the planet. You can go into the arena and fight other mechs one on one, like this guy. Uh, why not? Let's fight Sula. Call sign Sula. All right, bring it on, Sula. Think I one shot him? One try? Easy mode? Oh, 
Oh, I missed my chance right there to do a lot of damage to him. And he just strained me, of course. Yeah, you can see how, like, insane these mech fights can get. There's no way he beats me here. Uh, see? Easy. And then we can go like this. Get a sick picture of me just, like, destroying him. Wait, no. See? I'm doing, like, a quick little side boost here. Wider angle. Yeah. And then I go even wider. Right? And then maybe a little bit of tilt. Yep. Okay. We're making art right now. Art live on the air. Just like this. I want them to be in opposite corners. Like, if you think about the rule of thirds, if you're familiar with that. Yeah, something like that. Oh, look at the minigun barrel, too. I know you can't see the whole thing, but I'll put it on the screen. F1. Screenshot taken. You're nothing, Sula. I kind of like this pistol. It seems like counterintuitive to just have a giant pistol, but it's kind of badass. I like the uh, juxtaposition of the weapons in my hands. <laughs> I have the giant minigun and then a pistol. Pistol's cool because it's really high impact. It's basically like a giant deagle. And impact is the thing that causes strain or posture buildup. So that's another thing that I'm, I don't know if that was in the, uh, the previous games, but that's something that reminds me of my favorite FromSoft game. Sekiro so you know you obviously have the posture bar and that can build up uh and then it allows you to do a not a visceral attack an execution and take out one of the health bars or the whole health bar but in this game it basically breaks down the AC it staggers them and your damage output is increased for that specific time that they're strained and then you know like if I go into the parts here look at this so let's say I want to change my head you know, you're like, wow, that's a lot of things to look at. All those pluses and minuses, right? But it gets crazier. Are you kidding me? Like, I mean, I can understand if you're the type of person that wants to really get into this. Like, all different types of defenses, all types of system recoveries, target tracking, EN supply efficiency, energy supply efficiency. Like, totally, man. But I'm just trying to look for the perfect blend of really cool looking and functional because there's no like meta build in this game there's no there's no best weapon or like best rockets or best shoulders or you know best chest piece it's all just a matter of the fight that you're doing or the mission that you're doing at that specific time i'm pretty sure this is the main mission so i'm not going to do that one but both of these are the first mission that i've seen that allows me to do a decision you can see that in the bottom right so if there are decisions that are being made then that must mean that there are multiple endings. And as far as I know, there are like three or four endings. So I don't know. We'll see. I was so excited. I saw Jev upload a video of this and I was like, yes, dude, I love when he plays. I mean, I think most people love when he plays from soft games. I'm still waiting for that Sekiro playthrough or the Bloodborne playthrough. But to be honest, people would probably hate Bloodborne because it would, uh, you know, just a shitty frame rate. <laughs> But yeah, I was so excited to see him upload. And then um, I was like, yeah, dude, maybe we'll get like a full playthrough or something. And then to my dismay, we only got a, uh, we, we got the first video and then we got the last video, him getting the true ending. And I was like, oh, okay. If the pistol is gonna be like a single shot like this, it should definitely have a uh, faster fire rate. I might lose this. Cause I got dogged on by those other guys earlier. Oh yeah, I think I'm losing this. I don't have any heals left. Target terminated. Oh. oh my God, not good. Wait, 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 wait. I thought this guy wasn't gonna stand a chance this time. Oh God. Not good, not good. Oh no. So I'm charging that up and I just, I definitely want the songbird still, but I think I'm going to use that to get rid of his shield. And then instead of the pistol, I'll use a sword to also get rid of his shield. I don't know how well it's going to work for this first part. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because it's a 1v1, this might be all right. But for the big mobs, because of my reload times, these all these explosives just aren't good. And then just having a sword. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not good. Need a normal weapon on my other hand. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely tough, like from soft games. Or maybe I'm just bad. 
All right, here we go. No heals in a dream. Oh my God, how do I lose that? No, what the fuck? Oh my God. Oh no, no. It was so close. If I had one heal, I would have won that. The sword is so good for taking out the pole shields. Dude, he's beating my ass this time. Oh my God. Mm, I hate you so much. Yeah, baby, you're garbage. You're so garbage. Die, 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 die. We're done here. We are so done here. So done here. First try. I can't believe it. Let's go.